A controversial police program is back on the table at Austin City Council. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Daniel Marin. Britt has the night off. Council members will reconsider using license plate readers. They say the technology helps police solve crimes. But as KXN's Grace Reader explains, a digital civil liberties group is concerned the program could violate your rights. Austin City Council will once again discuss reinstating the Austin Police Department's license plate reader program. That program was discontinued after City Council cut the PD's funding in 2020. This is a matter of, of life safety for people in the community. Council member Mackenzie Kelly echoing the Austin Police Department's call to bring back license plate readers. In 2017, APD officers were able to successfully locate a kidnapped two-year-old child from San Antonio after license plate readers alerted them to the vehicle traveling northbound on 35. APD has pointed to several times where the program was used to save lives, and it wants the tool back. But EFF Austin, a digital civil liberties advocacy group, is worried the program violates people's right to be protected against unreasonable search and seizure. There was that very prominent Amber Alert of a kidnapped one-year-old just the other day. You know, it's like we all want to solve these problems. We just want to make sure that we're using the right tools to solve the problems and that we don't create as many harms as we're trying to fix. The group wants City Council to do the following before reinstating the program. Ensure data is held locally so it can't be sold. Make sure the PD is audited regularly. Only allow the cameras to be stationary and shorten the amount of time data is held. EFF Austin pointed to Austin's Grace Act, which protects people's ability to get an abortion as a reason to be worried about the data. Without really strong data retention periods, this data can get shared with other law enforcement agencies or even more critically, with third parties. During a town hall earlier this year, the Austin Police Department said this database would not contain any personally identifiable information. They also said that the data would not be shared with anyone outside of law enforcement. Reporting from Austin, I'm Grace Reader, KXAN News.